Yes, good morning. Como tal y buses? You guys ready to go? Yeah, me too. Hey there, boo boo. We got to get the pips from the pip basket. Good morning, everybody. Let me remind you that trading is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Your past performance, however, is not necessarily indicative of future results. Please stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term, and never risk money you cannot afford to lose. Hello, my name is Wayne McDonald. I am leading today's session. I've been trading Forex for a long time, and I'm here to be your guide. Um, I'll do some technical analysis today. I believe we have another dumb prediction coming out, so maybe we can get a scalp on that. We can also address fundamentals if you wish. But it's a good opportunity to get together as a community here at Forex today and uh, align our satellites and uh, prepare for the New York Open. 7.30 a.m. New York time right now, approximately London lunch. I do these sessions Monday through Friday here at Forex today. Except this Friday, I will be at bum, 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 FX Street for Trade Non-Far Payrolls Live. I'm here to also earn your respect and your loyalty, and you show that by opening an account at tradersway.com. Even a simple demo account is actually quite useful. You will be able to see our back office. You get to know our customer service. You can download MT4, test out our spreads or execution or cost it's all lufle to you so i hope to see you there and you should see charts now i have another six screens uh for some reason the camera didn't work today but um uh, so the whole right the 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 six screens on the far right there, I now have charts up and running. And the ones on the left need some. So I'm getting there. No, they do not, Pital. All right. Where should we start? Uh, let's start at the beginning. What do you see here? The upper part of the pound dollar is a sell zone for bears. The bottom part is a buy zone for bulls, although it did go a bit below, but it's back in there. So it's quite neutral, actually. If you're a bull, you should be buying down here. If you're a bear, you should be selling up here. I think bears are happy that it made a low, lower high, lower low. And this should be sort of a roll reversal area, don't you stink? But I don't have my drawing tool up here, this rectangle, and I always forget how to add it. It always takes so long. So let's try it again. Customize. Things like this. There. And down to, there it is. Let's add that. Do I need the arrows? No. Let's get the arrows. Oh. Text label, maybe. Fibonacci retracement, this channel. So anyways, what I wanted to do is this. 
Right? It seems like that could be a place to sell if you were there. What do you stink? You'd be watching this closely, wouldn't you? Hopefully it doesn't go all the way up here. I suppose it could, but you'd hope it wouldn't, right? This changes the game a little bit. Let's mark this. At least we forget. Lest we forget. So anyways, um, either way, this whole area is a cell zone if you're a bear, right? If you're a bull, it is not the world's greatest buy zone. It's not really a, a, a pivot. It's not really a fib. It's not really a psych level. It's not really a role reversal. It's just not that great based on this analysis. It's a monthly central pivot. What an amazing coincidence. Let me update this. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Uh, mm -hmm. oh. A little better. Okay, so template. Save. Let's boot camp. Uh, uh, clusters. Place that. Yep. Hi, 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 hi. What do you think? Is it pretty helpful to have the monthlies there too? I mean, it explains a lot, doesn't it? We didn't have that information before, and we're like, "Hey, man, why is it that the market just happened to start stop, not at a weekly pivot?" Not at a psych level, not at a midpoint psych level, not at a fib level. Why did it stop there? Oh, it's a monthly central pivot. So does that prove to you that large institutional players must have known that 124.17 and a half is an important level because of a monthly central? I mean, there was no other reason for that to act as support, right? So you should probably put it down in your notes because you're studying things, right? You should write it down and say, I have to use monthly pivot points. That's it. Because you know others are using them. The big boys and gals. Big boys, yeah. Cool. Trapped between the pivots. Well, if you're a long-term bear, this is still your sell zone. You're still going to play it here. Your long-term bull, though, right? Your buy zone is down here, and your target is up here. If you're a bear, this still is your sell zone. You notice the monthly M3 and the weekly M3 are the same. So this still, let's say, let's just mark it here. If you sold there, your target is down here. 
what is that? One twenty and a half. And you'd be selling at twenty five. All right, you know, four hundred and fifty pips. Okay. And you would hope that you're kind of playing this a little bit. Okay. A little wedgy. What do you stink? And could you could you possibly be a bull? No, because you would have bought it already. Okay. I don't know, I don't know what you were doing if you didn't buy it, right? Because we know this is 24. You can see the double bottom. When you add the monthly pivot, it makes a ton of sense. So. Maybe a dipsy do one two three. Maybe that's what you're looking for as a bull. Is that your bag, baby? Okay. Dollar's weak today. Let's see if that plays out for everybody. Okay. How about not using pivot points? What would happen? What would your analysis say if you're not using pivot points? If you were using just moving averages. Okay. I changed that to yellow, uh, brought to blue. Okay, let's do it again. All right. Okay. That's what that tells me. I'm not even looking at the pivot points. Now let's look at the pivot points. Okay. This, if you're a bull, that's supposed to be your bottom. This is supposed to be your top. You're a bear, this is your target, but you haven't had an opportunity based on the four hour chart and pivot points to have sold this. So, your next sell using technical analysis would be this 107 area, right? But, you, but this moving average where we are at the 55 tells me that it, it may not make a lower low. But if you're a bear, you should still try. Because I don't know what else are you doing at the time. And uh, this is the sell zone, really, if you're a bear using swings. So even if you're a bear, this might go up. And if you're a bull, this might go up. So bulls can still buy it. Ideally, bears are going to wait up here, like I said, 107. Uh, yeah. Wait, not 107. This is uh, 107.50. Sorry. Okay. Could you be a bull here? Going off. Is 
because the first move we're looking at is kind of here. So the question is, is the next one higher than that? We take that low to this high. Let's say this M2 is the bottom. Let's say the 618 Fibonacci retracement is the bottom. It seems to me that when you measure this up, that's a higher high, isn't it? Triangle pointed down. So if you were a bull, being at the weekly M2, being at the 618 Fibonacci retracement, and breaching the, the 4 hour 21, seems at least hopeful that you're going to try to head to the top. Do, 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 do. Downloaded this, not entirely sure what it's doing. Okay, everything back. So some of this can't. Ah, oh, come on. All right. Oh, there. Okay. So drew all that, huh? I didn't try that. Parallel, I guess. That I get. It is not useful. Okay. How you want to play it. It makes the downward move look exhausted. What do you think? Like if it was go so gosh darn bearish, we should have cut through it by now, right? So in that case, if your plan, you know, your plan would be, it's either going to consolidate or 
head back up. Don't you think? But I wouldn't call it bullish yet, but you could start taking shots because you have a predefined risk. Your stop just needs to be lower than here, right? So we're approaching 111. You have to decide if it's going to double bottom and then head up or not. Okay, bears have already sold. Bears are going to sell here again, either 110 or what, uh, 110 20 or 111 20. Sorry, 111 or 111 20 would be the new sell zone. Don't you think? Six one eight one one eleven just happens to be six one eight. And they're thinking down further. Six one eight predicts a one three eight two that puts us down just below one ten and pretty close to the weekly. We're on the fifty percent now. And if that holds, that gets us pretty close to. Okay. So you know the areas which would be good for selling. So you just have to be a bear and be, sit, be sitting here being ready. And bulls, well, you know, you there was a chance down here. Maybe it comes down and double bottoms and gives you another chance. Cool. Yeah, maybe. What if you measured it this way? Yeah, but it's still about the same, isn't it? So now it's about the same. The 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 one eleven psych level is a three eight two Fibonacci retracement. The weekly central point is a fifty percent Fibonacci retracement. That seems pretty good to me. So in case you don't speak English, this is what a bear would be doing. The bull is already moving this up. Ay, 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 ay. Funny, I remember all of this. Amazing. I was there. I was there, man. It's like looking at old old wedding pictures or something. I remember that. Yeah, I remember 115. I remember breaking through here. Huh. It was such a big deal at the time. I remember uh, I had 300 pips of slippage. Rob says, yeah, looking good for both or a bear. Well, you buy it low or you sell it high. Most ideally, you do nothing else besides one of those two options. Remember, most amateurs don't do either of those things. <laughs> All right. So didn't we talk about a counter trend trade yesterday?
you'd see this one's actually was trapped in a range. The support held. The resistance was respected. Yeah, but only for 16 hours. Spiked up and created the counter trend. Right? And based on that, if, if you expected profit taking, bullish profit taking to happen in the red zone, therefore you were hunting their stops by selling in the red zone, what would your target be for this week? Weekly central. And if you were aggressive, what would your target be? No, not green zone. Too far. Support. So weekly M2, not because it's weekly M2, but because it was support. So you have to assume it will be respected again because it's there. Because it is. Okay. This you should watch because it's just a rule of thumb. Right? It's just a rule of thumb. I... I don't know if it's been taught to anybody else. It's stuff, something I made up. It's my alpha. But I don't know what's going to happen. But I can tell you other people see this. Okay. Other people see that. So I know that is factual. Okay. But it's not because it's M2. It's because it was previous support. And that's why I drew it for you guys yesterday. I'm going to open up the window so you can hear the thunderstorm. Ah, maybe you can. I don't know. This microphone's pretty good. Meaning you may not hear anything. The microphone is so good you won't hear anything. Stupid noise canceling. If the mic isn't on my mouth, you can't hear me. Hey, look, an armadillo. Psych! Made you look. <laughs> oh, Wayne, you're so cruel. Yeah. Yeah, do All right. So yesterday, did we talk about a counter trend trade? Here's the sell zone. Here's the target. We hit it, right? We hit it in the first day or so. Okay, and the target should be here if we're counter trend trading, right? Let me know if that is not the case, if we did not talk about that. If you think I'm backfilling, let me know. If you think I told you to sell, sell, sell down in here yesterday, or I didn't even mention the counter trend. I, now, I, what I remember is I said, look, you can't bet that it's going to happen, but you can prepare for it to happen, right? But I want, I want to know what you remember because perception creates reality. You, whatever you remember is real. Joe, right? Yeah. Well, the week's over. Bye.
Yeah. But it's awesome to know these things, isn't it? You know, how many amateurs just didn't know about pivot points, for example, and would have just kept selling because it was so it was falling so hard so fast, and uh, you know, uh, the interest rate policy in Australia. Yeah, but you know what? They probably don't know about the RBA's central banking policy. They probably don't know about yen repatriation. So, right? So I don't know. Sucks to be them anyways. So it's nice that we have a, a little rule of thumb here to trade it back to the central. Seems to be working. So it's moved from 83.20 to uh, 84.10. So it's on its way to 100 pips. Hey, 100 pips is 100 pips, right? I pity the fool. Nice, huh? Question is, what are you going to do next? If you were a bear and you want to sell off the, the four hour 21, that's reasonable. If you want to look for an opportunity off the roll reversal, that's reasonable. <clears throat> okay. You're so cruel. I. Be decided. That's what I'm suggesting there. If you're an aggressive bear, you're going to sell this. Now you're ignoring weeklies, right? But maybe there's monthlies going on, right? But that is, if you're trying to follow the trend, that is the trend. Remember, if you're below the 21, you're aggressive, right? This is your conservative. So aggressive. It should fall if you're aggressive. But it just comes down to whether you temper your aggressiveness because of the weekly target being hit. That's your decision. But if you're watching it on a 15-minute chart and you thought it was rolling over back down, then you could sell it, right? I think if I was going to sell it, I would have sold it at 84, right? So, long live the counter trend. You know what? Just in case we, I don't want to mess up our conversation tomorrow. So, oops. so I'm going to leave. Oops. Leave this. To leave that that way just to highlight we talked about it is it getting better oh look at that mess huh? do you feel the same does it make it Easier on you now. Got someone to blame. I gotta get to 15, I guess. So, somebody has this fibbed down. Hmm? Down. Right, fib down. 
and down it went. Cool. You're welcome. And why is it fibbed down? Could be resistance, don't you stink? Okay. Now, the interesting thing is we have this spike up into resistance. I wonder if it folds itself or tucks itself back in to a weekly trade plan, which would be M3 to M1. Because we respected M3 before, spike into the resistance, and then immediately back down. I wonder if it'll work its way down. Thank you. Thanks for the heads up on the ADP. So I have 52.73 as the sell zone for, for oil. How about y'all? All y'all. All Well, I don't have weekly R1 there. I'm looking at the cluster. My thought is they're going to want to spike up, hit this, and then bring it down. Yield up just under a basis point. 
opportunity just to go for a spot to be 5% in NATO in about 30 seconds. ADP do well momentarily. Tornado warning. Oh, 263. <laughs> Will more. I don't have a happy face yet. Come on, happy face. Kick in, happy face. Nothing was set up yet on this uh, platform. <laughs> so I clicked. And it's like, are you sure you want this trade? And, oh, my God, yes. And then, then I don't have any stops on it. It still hasn't kicked in. It's on. Why isn't it not kicking in? Airbus AIR trading in Paris, France, selling benchmark 10 year notes 100 basis points above Treasury, 30 year paper 125 basis points above Treasuries. AIR in Paris. That's the issue. I wouldn't uh, switch in PCs. Can you guys hear the tornado warning? Highs here, the pre market for the SP minis up four handles here. European forces extending gains in the FTSE mid, the Spanish IBEX overall, the Euro stocks, the DAX is recouping most of the day's losses now. So remember when you approach the, uh, the line in the sand, you should remove the risk. 
You guys can't hear the tornado warning, the sirens. Too bad. Best spring break ever. And where should we go? Noki? No. Yen? No. Cool, so we're trading through a hurricane or a tornado. So if it, if one comes by the house, normally I would trade with you, but I have my children with me this week because it's spring break. So uh, I'd have to go take care of my children. Okay, that's your cell zone, guys. Don't forget. You're like, I totally forgot what the heck I was doing. This is the cell right there, weekly central, 111.20, 50% retracement. If you're a bear, I don't know what else you'd be looking for. Why do we have rainbows? I don't know. Just caught my fancy. No particular reason. Doesn't change anything for me. I don't know if it changes anything for you. It's just different. Be interesting if you're a bear. If you're a bull, you got to look at the 111 to 11080 area. Hey, look at that. Hey, 
Hey, look, that area we talked about uh, 45 minutes ago is seemingly important to somebody. What an amazing coincidence, huh? So a hundred uh, was it two hundred sixty three? Huh? Holy smokes! Last month it was three, or like just almost three hundred, but they revised that down to two fifty. So we have two fifty last month, two sixty this month. It's pretty amazing stuff, huh? So big bounce again on the Aussie dollar, so I lost uh, nothing. Took the opportunity, lost nothing. It's a big number, but it didn't seem to change anything. Love is a temple. So it's amazing that, you know, this is not tanking, and yet Aussie dollar going up. Love is a temple. You ask me to enter. Then you make me crawl. There you go, another op right there. I can't cool it all. Oh, well, I was just scalping, so I don't know what you're doing, but all I was doing was scalping. It's a slow scalp I've made in a long time. Just not, none of this platform just still isn't set up properly. Dollar index just not feeling confident today. Being held down by the uh, daily 21, but it seems breachable. Did you guys watch the Romanian Central Bank decision? Yeah, right.
Poland left in, uh, interest rates unchanged at 1.5%. 23rd time in a row. You, you like the Zlaty? You like to trade the Polish Zlaty? Romania left interest rates unchanged at 1.75. The South African uh, Director of the Treasury for zizzle, for shizzle, is quitting. Look at that, our line is still holding. Yeah, so that 263, that's two months in a row, pretty big numbers for ADP. Okay, got to be careful. Long ways up to the next one. It's raining, it's pouring. Uh oh. I'm having browser problems. Oh. All right, you're back. All right. Uh, 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 um. Okay, let's go back and see what else is going on. It's really raining here. And today is supposed to be family day at Augusta. It's really sad. I mean, it's rainy, rainy. Yeah, it's up in Augusta. 
the masters do i even need to say it oh my gosh the masters the hugest humongo golf tournament of the year it's not even so much a tournament as it is a, a rites of passage in uh, tradition So everything is still kind of stuck in its range. Love is a temple. So it seems that it did hit 52. Anybody? 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 There was this other EA I found. Uh, I don't think it's going to add much value, uh, but let's throw it on there anyways. Uh, Hard levels. Okay, blow me away, hard levels. Hard line three, hard line. I don't know what any of those are. Well, hard levels no so good. Doesn't seem to do anything, maybe because it's a commodity. Thanks for nothing, hard levels. Yeah, really, you can't hear me very well? Yeah, so it, it seems like uh, everything's been slow the last, what, 12 hours, except for the counter trend trades. Feels like the market's waiting. Uh, let's do some gold. Okay. So, uh, some fool identified uh, resistance. Was it yesterday? So, it hadn't happened yet. Now it's happened. Cool. So now what? Just like I did on a couple of the other currencies. This would be the sweet spot. The 3A2 to 618 would be the sweet spot. I would have assumed back to the R1, but whatever. It's going to be challenged at the next level. What used to be resistance is now support. And maybe, just maybe, it heads down. It doesn't have to anymore because a bull would buy it in here.
Yeah, just kind of looking around. Everything seems to just be fairly calm. It's pretty slow, in fact. Well, this is indicating dollar strength, which we don't actually have at the moment. Yet, right? All right, so did we talk about a counter trend trade yesterday? But who wants to buy the stupid euro, right? right. How about the beast? Did we talk about a counter trend trade yesterday with the beast? Well, there must be something to that rule, huh? Thanks for sharing it with me. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I shared it with you. <laughs> There's a counter trend on the CAD yen. Here's our friend, the Kiwi. It's trying. It's trying its best. Amazing number of counter trends, huh? Isn't it just amazing? I mean, there's something to it, right? That it fell off of a bearish area, it hit the target, and then counter trended. Tornado warning in this area until 9 a.m. Take shelter now. F you, government. How dare you invade my privacy? I'm in the middle of a webinar. It's Obama's fault. Can't hold me back. I'm trading. The pips are rocking. Don't come a knocking. Yeah. Oh no. How did that guy die? Well, he was running through a tornado to save an armadillo. He saved an armadillo? Yeah, for lunch. <laughs> Them good eats. All right, well, it kind of feels like things are over. Uh, you know, even the scalps are not really even moving that much. And, you know. So uh, why don't we uh, regroup tomorrow since, uh, you know, I have to save my children and my wildlife.
from the horrible, horrible, horrible tornado. Uh, so, peace on earth. May the pips be with you. May your profits be above average. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. You hear? Uh, Peter, doesn't it say on the website? He used to, but the programmers mess with so much that. But it's 7.30 a.m. New York time.